Hello, Mac Warriors and tacticians of the future. Welcome back to Battle Tech and playing hardball in our beautiful Argo, who is spinning her beautiful legs today. Well, as always. So we are here at Flintoff. We have we have uh, accomplished all the contracts here, even the very very high value, or rather the high risk uh, the high risk um, contracts. So. Let us build some mechs and then we are on our way because we want to go to the next flashpoint. That's this one here. The house divided. 18 days away. And then from there, if nothing else pops up, and I doubt it will, like after 18 days, but let's see. Here we've got 44 days. And that's 40. 44, 18, yeah. So I guess I think it should work out like going here, but then we don't have any time on this planet, uh, or no extra time on this planet, but that's not of too much concern. But I think then we need to go down here immediately to do this flashpoint, which is White Lies. I think so, yeah. Al although I'd rather do the story campaign. Um, Although they say this is a point of no return, Commander, when you pull the trigger on this drop, you may well be committed as to a confrontation with the Black Widow. We'd better be pr uh, ready. Um, not sure if this is the last one with the Flashpoint campaign. Possibly not. I mean, we do have like 218 days left for the campaign. Although I actually, I also don't know if we could play longer, but actually I think we are just doing this one here. Yeah. So, but the thing is, we can build two mechs, actually three, but we, yeah, our uh, equipment uh, is limited, of course. We've got the Stalker to build, which is actually pretty interesting, although this is uh, an all-energy missile variant. And we have the Banshee, 95 tons. And that buddy is going to be a very nice brawler. We've got a chess quirk with 35 points. So let's repair our bull shark. And we can't upgrade anything there, I think. It's such a pity that we do not find any ultra auto cannon ammunition. So we don't have any, which is very sad. Because we have these babies sitting in our hold here, and even with minus two tons, so. Very, very sad. Very sad. But it's fine. So, okay. you know, we th those are luxury problems, of course. So, let's repair our cockpit mod. There. Confirmed. Yes. And then... Come on. Don't take so long. So, and then we have the stalker. And I'm actually, I have ideas. So the Stalker will be a nice missile, long range shooting missile boat. I think we will make a dedicated long range mech. Um, but the Banshee is an excellent brawler. And that's what I want to go for, actually. So here, let's try the Stalker. Um, and also, we have some pretty nice stuff here. Here, this one the extended range PPCs with 10 additional damage and we have even two of those and minus one ton. Put them in there. That's great, isn't it? That's of course catastrophic for our heat, but we have a solution for that as well, my dear friends and McVorriors. Solutions over solutions. Let's put two LRM-15s in here. So, as you can see, we are also doing a lot of additional stability damage here. So, if the PPC hits, we do stability damage and the LRM. So, that's actually the beauty of this thing. Um, and I think we can put two LRM-5s. And we have also these here with the, the additional crit. LRM-5s go in there. Um, and like for defensive purposes, I think we need two M lasers, maybe. 
Or let's rather go on like this first though. And then we need ammunition for the LRM of course. Let's put that into the legs. Let's have four, so that's 480 shots. 240, yeah. 240 on every uh, leg. And we've only 10 tons left. Let's put some equipment in there. Cockpit mod, just in case we have two of these, that's good. Um, and we have this beautiful heat exchanger, minus 15%. That is one of our solutions here, so that al already reduces. So the heat would be catastrophic if we were to shoot an auto in alpha strike. 130 heat, but thanks to the exchanger, 130, that's 20 heat reduced. 20 heat for three tons. That is pretty significant. And also we do have the, uh, here, the heat bank for one ton, double plus. Let's put that one in here. That's also nice. Now we have shutdown heat is at 130. So theoretically we can do a full alpha strike and don't need to bother. Um, but we are all, we have some potential for heat sinks, of course, fortunately. So we have enough ammo for the LRMs. And we have six tons left. So, and oh, sorry, and now that we won't have so much armor, let's have a gyro. We only have this one here left with plus one hit defense, but that's better than nothing. So, and we, we keep our distance anyway with this one. Hopefully, at least. I think we won't have any space for jump jets. Um, because we need some defensive weapons in case someone gets closer to us. Which is going to be two M lasers. With additional 10 damage. Let's put one here. And one on this arm. And I'd like more armor on the arms because there we have our precious weapons so what now and well how about some heat things so we can shoot more often i mean it's still a heat problem with this one but i think we should uh, shake up any enemies pretty nicely there <coughs> um nah, open your eyes and you shall see where's the heat sink there think there we have three <clears throat> and then we can put some more armor let's put this one here to 130 40 in the back and uh, that's zero yeah <clears throat> doesn't feel too safe but of course there's still a lot of <clears throat> armor at the ready so i guess it's fine <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so that's uh, 11 days, <clears throat> and I don't think that we, yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. So, now we have an uh, attack of 370, while the original has 356. 630 max range, so usually they come with LRM, double LRM 10, double SRM 6, and two L lasers and four M lasers. So and I think this is actually more interesting like this. More an anti-stability build. Lots of crit potential. Uh, with every LRM strike plus 50% crit with all of them. So we are shooting 30, 40 LRM missiles per salvo. 40, <clears throat> we have uh, 480 yeah so 14 salvos if I'm not mistaken so let's build it like this <clears throat> I don't think I have I made any mistakes no I don't think so we could I mean we could theoretically go a bit lower with the armor <coughs> and uh, and install more heat sinks but I think it's okay. With less armor, I feel unsafe. 
<clears throat> so, come on, don't be so slow. <clears throat> and then we go to the Banshee, refitting. And this will be the real beauty. The Banshee uh, is probably um, replacing our Battlemaster. You remember our beautiful Battlemaster with all the SRMs, right? So let's push this one here to maximum. What is this? One functional range weapon, yes. So, all in with the armor. So, and the thing is, here, so it has this this quirk, chess is quirk 30 plus 35 uh, melee damage. So, let's build a melee, a, a melee, uh, mag. what's this? Young's thoughts. The Banshee 3S is slower than the stock design, but it can take a punch while pummeling an enemy to the ground. If you are unsatisfied with the stock Banshee's lack of firepower, this is the variant you've been waiting for, Commander. What they do is to S lasers, PPC 4M lasers, double PPC 4M lasers and one AC-10, yeah. So and we have one AC-10 here and that's actually a thing that we are going to build. I think AC-10 is, uh, is a good choice here. Also because it does stability damage. Oh, we have this one here at least. Oh no, this one here. Crit and plus 20 stability damage. So let's put one in here. <clears throat> Ammo. AC 10, let's have two. Then we have 16 shots with this one. And that's also a nice long range weapon with 450 meters range. Then let's have, we have, uh, yeah, and let's have one L laser. Like this one here is six tons. This one is two, yeah. Let's have one L laser for, uh, so we have some more ranged capacity. And then we can fill up this one here with M lasers. And actually, uh, now that we are shooting from the side torso, let's have uh, our accuracy and crit M lasers. Like this, let's have four of them. And let's have one with an additional 10 damage. So, and let's have SRM-6 for more stability damage and more damage potential. Armor for the, for the SRM. SRM ammo, that's 100 rounds and we shoot six, so that's also a nice load of weapons and with the M lasers and the L laser we are also okay-ish uh, with the uh, damage potential but the real thing is coming now so we are we have this here the arm mod double a uh, triple plus with plus 60 melee stability damage only for one ton let's put it here on this arm pretty big thing um, and then we can put some other stuff. So we are filling it up with uh, all our stuff here. Is this two? That's ten. It's also two. It's all two, okay. And we have eleven tons left. Let's put all the... Yeah, we can only put one. Is there anything that has three? No, that's four. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing that only requires uh, three slots. Yeah, okay. So then let's put this one here, the stability. And on this other side, the additional melee damage for 10, uh, plus 10 for zero tons. And another 20 melee damage there and these plus five melee damage there. So that's filled up then. And then like this, we do 145 raw damage and stability damage 195. Uh, let's actually, no, let's not use this, but the stability damage uh, for 20. <clears throat> so that way we have uh, here, uh, that way we have 215 stability damage. So I guess we would, knock everyone on the ground with one go. 
So, and we do have uh, something I just forgot. We have S laser slot. And I like us to have this here. Our really nice S laser. Triple plus, plus 10 damage, plus 50% crit. So we see we have a lot of crit potential, like on relatively short range, just in case we are not getting into a brawling range. Then, cockpit mod three injury resist. And let's have plus three melee hit. So, there. We have a lot of armor, like the maximum we can roll with, with the Banshee. And we have still 10 tons left. So, which means... Um, we are going... Well, we don't really need... I think we don't really need... Oh, we do need some heat uh, reduction. So, let's have... Let's have this heat bang for one ton, plus 20 heat and 10 overheat threshold. I think that's better and uh, the, the heat exchanger for 10 is two tons I think that's possibly not worth it like what was it here 108 right yeah 108 and this means 97 <coughs> so it's 11 points for two 11 heat for two uh, tons Okay, no, actually it's worth it. On the other hand, I mean, for with two additional heat sinks, well, let's fill it up. Oh, and we want some jump jets here. Let's put one jump jet on each leg, and then we have three tons. And I actually think we are reducing our armor slightly for an additional... Uh, extra ton otherwise this would go to waste yeah these uh, these 9.4 tons this would be a bit sad a waste of tons yeah they are like that the three uh, the 0 0.81 dude like this 285 on the torso or maybe 290 now we are in brawling yeah let's do it like this um so jumping, movement, max jump is 90 meters. So it's more like uh, that we that we overcome obstacles, I think. And well, the exchanger, yeah. So and heat sinks. Well, the big thing is, well, we are at 97 and we sink 36 heat. We could have another jump jet though, <clears throat> which would be not so bad actually, especially for a brawler. Um, because then we, when we punch, we we are uh, we are not using up any heat anyway. Let's have another jump jet instead. So instead of two heat sinks, so yeah, yeah, eleven heat. Or rather, six sunk per turn. I think the uh, the exchange is possibly the better choice here. Please do tell what you think. So, and my thoughts, by the way, on this uh, standard design, heavy brawler combination with sniper. I don't feel that that's actually a good build because if you have a sniper, then you want to um, go long range, yeah. And with this SRM, that's basically wasted, yeah. Like either either you go in uh, for the short range. Like I think we have a pretty good roll here with uh, AC10 and L laser, and um, for the you know longer medium to long range engagement if we can't get close. Yeah, but otherwise we just mess them up. So 347, and this one has 348 actually, but we are way better uh, with the melee. It's got 130 and we've got what 140 with all our stuff oh well but we we go more for the stability damage also due to the lack of uh, better equipment that we have 
but I think that's pretty interesting here. So let's build it like this. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. So let's build it like this. And then, well, we could have a look at our uh, zoos, which is actually right. also a pretty cool I'll mech, but case. we don't have any other stuff and uh, we don't have the time to build it anyway right now. But let's have a short look. So the Zeus, this is the one that we bought, I think. So it already comes with uh, the standard equipment. Um, why is the game always so slow? I really, I don't have anything in, running in the background. Um, so here we go. And that's the standard. Let's have a look at the Zeus. That's actually pretty cool. I like the the rocket arm, but uh, otherwise, well, it's 80 tons. But the cool thing is that it has actually four jump jets, and it's actually a rather quick mech, as they say. Max move is 120. Stock combat roll. The Zeus 6S moves faster than many other assault mechs and mounts decent long-range weaponry. It's almost very good, but it can get stuck in a tight spot of force in a closer range. Fighting on a 20, 10, 90, only 90 on the side tours, oh yeah, well. Yeah, so I mean we can upgrade a lot, however, I think we just wait for the next planet because uh, the travel time is only six, uh, uh, 18 days anyway. So let's get going. The Zeus is certainly interesting, but with 80 tons our other mechs are simply already better. But as promised, we are going to build and see every mech. That's the thing. So let's manage the tasks. Bull Shark is the first one. And I've actually, I feel that the Banshee is, uh, is actually interesting and more interesting. So let's do it like that. The Stalker won't be ready though. <laughs> On the other hand, like what kind of planet is it? Where we have to go. This one. Ah, it's a 3.5 planet. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, I think the uh, where is it? Yago. Yeah, I think the bench is po possibly uh, more worthwhile. Although I would like to see a lo uh, uh, an LRM boat again. But I think the Banshee is better, mm. better suited for the tasks ahead. Yeah. And um, this planet here, that's just a 1.5 planet. Yeah, good, good, okay. It's a bit sad. Yeah, there we can we can try out the LRM boat anyway. So let's let's drive there. Let's fly there. Travel. Commander, I need your help. My house's honor is at stake. Please, let's meet and discuss the details. All right, we are on our now, way. Commander. House Kentaro again. So, the house that doesn't have any planets on its own, so we can't actually work against them, kind of. I've I've not seen any, uh, or did we actually see any, any uh, okay. missions against Draconis? I'm not... An, an, I'm not even sure. Oh, how beautiful our Argo is. All shiny and golden. Got a new very nice indeed. Me, oh yeah, it's very expensive, but well, that's just how it goes. Accepting. Everyone is in extremely good mood. Very good, very good. Jumping. Tranquility of space oh there class warfare raised voices echo down the mass deck hallway and we arrive to find ozone nose to nose with decker i don't care about your noble family you don't give me orders ozone snarls poking the other mcvorian in the chest with each word decker lifts his chin even out here in the periphery you should know enough to listen to your betters. Ozone f uh, Ozone's fist flashes out before anyone can intervene, sending Decker staggering, blood erupting from a broken nose. In the dangerous silence that follows, the room finally notices that 
We've arrived. Single fork letters to the floor. Well, how about that? Yeah, let's have this. Argo Gym. Have them fight in the gym instead. I think that's good. Like on the Battlestar Galactica. Have a good uh, fist fight. Right? Like that. Oh. The two Mech Warriors circle in the makeshift boxing ring while the crew shouts encouragement. Both Mech Warriors have taken a beating over the course of the eight rounds, but while Decker has training, Ozone has the will to win. Decker, flagging and back against the ropes, darts in with a final surge of energy. In response to such a predictable assault, Ozone turns one of Decker's own moves back on him early in the fight. Decker had staggered Ozone with it. Now Decker goes down hard. As the referee reaches the 10 count, the crowd goes wild. Ozone has gained high spirits for 30 days. Very nice. And our ship morale has increased, so everybody is actually in extremely good mood. Like beyond the 50, we are resolute. We are elite mech warriors, that's for sure. So and the work on the stalker has begun, but it won't be finished until we have arrived on the planet. I think this should be the last jump and then we are actually, yeah, we are detaching. Let's see what kind of uh, missions we have on this planet. Eight days, seven days for the stalker. Yeah, and then, yes, beautiful Argo, spread your legs. And then we are here. House divided. Let's firstly check out what kind of contracts we have here. What do we have? Connecting to Comstar, the Mercnet. Oh, out here the connection is so slow. Lost contact. Oh yeah, nice. Very nice indeed. What is this? Against the Federated Suns. 4.5 skulls. Very nice. For the Capellans. That is also against the Federated Suns. Yeah, but we do have a pretty good... Uh, yeah, we do have a pretty good uh, go here with the with the skulls and stuff. I had feared that it would be lower. So let's have a look at the hiring hall. There's no one special. And the store. I mean, I fear there's no ultra auto cannon. No, but they do have LBX, which we don't really need. Yeah, very sad. We have some of those. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, they have some arm mods for zero. Okay, let's buy that one. New equipment available. That one. New equipment available. And hit defense. I oh, yeah, are nice. Let's buy that one as well. So, okay, and that's the advantage. If you have money, then you can buy stuff without thinking too much. Hatchet man, the war warhammer. Yeah, okay. So we have all of that already. So, but that is nice. Some some minor equipment that can upgrade our max now. So and then well, let's look here. So we do have the flashpoint available. Let's begin it. Commander, I need your help. It's against the pirates. Yeah. By the way. Uh, did we have any pirate missions? One on 4.5. That's actually nice. Negotiate. It's against also the Federated Suns. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, we are losing a lot of uh, rep, kind of. But I mean, all in all, we are uh, we are increasing everything steadily with everyone. No, but we wasted some with the with the Draconis guys as well. But yeah, uh, eh, no, sorry. Here we wanted to go here. No, here there. So flashpoint. Let's begin it. So there, house divided. High orbit Mendham. Lady Suiko Nakano. Welcome to Mendham, Commander Hardball. I'm Lady Suiko of House Nakano. We are a minor house, but we are highly regarded for our sense of honor, at least in the Combine. But now, 
Our good name is threatened by outsiders who are sowing division. Please, Lady Suiko, tell us more about your troubles, or about who the trouble is more specifically. The issue lies between me and my eldest daughter, Mariko. She has fallen in with the wrong crowd, opportunists and reprobates, hoping to leverage our reputation for their gain. They've convinced her that wealth will improve our family standing, yet, so far, she has succeeded only in squandering our modest fortune on lavish dinner parties and extravagant jewelry for her friends. Now, one of these miscreants wants to roost our, at our family estate on Yori in exchange for a vast sum. Mariko refuses to acknowledge that a known criminal will be using my ancestral home as a base for her nefarious operations. This cannot be allowed. I'd rather see House Nakano fall than be dishonored by this creature. Fortunately for you, even in my relative poverty, I can still afford mercenaries. Wait, you're not going to ask us to murder your kid, right? Because we get that a lot, like way too much. If I wanted her dead, I'd do it myself. No, I love my daughter, but she's so caught up in her pursuit of wealth that she's forgotten the words passed down from her great-grandmother. Honor is the embodiment of an ideal. Wealth is the means to bypass ideals. I blame myself for failing to reinforce this lesson. I should have enlisted her in the DCMS. But it's too late now. This animal has sunk her claws into my daughter and thus into my house. Understood. Who exactly are we dealing with? Corinna Luthendorf, she's more than just a socialite. She's a war profiteer who amassed a fortune selling military-grade weapons to insurgents, who then murdered innocent Puritans during the Third Succession War. Now those same insurgents serve as her personal army. Mm -hmm. And how would you like us to proceed? Mariko will arrive shortly to throw one of her extravagant sorries and hand over the keys of our ancestral home to Luthendorf, an estate that has been passed from mother to daughter for generations. You must prevent this. Who is Mariko to rob our descendants of their birthright? I'll send over coordinates, intercept Luthendorf's convoy and eliminate her, leave nothing but a smoldering ruin in her honor. Oh, hold on, that's a big jump. Why do we have to kill Luthendorf? I told you, I won't kill my daughter, but she won't listen to me. Well, your rationale is as sound as any we get in this business. We'll take the contract, Lady Suiko. Very good, Commander, I'll be in touch. Because image flickers and dies. The way Lady Suiko talks, you'd think honor was worth more than gold, but I know when to keep my mouth shut. No, you don't. Look, I could listen to this clever banter all day, but we've got to work. We got work to do. Okay, guys, so. And this mission we will do in the next episode. Thanks for watching. The time is running. We'll continue next time. And yeah, I hope you like this one, the mech building. We'll see how our mech performs, the new one, in the next episode. If you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. You know, you're always welcome. Thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so, so never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye-bye.